Carmel Hubby. Mm -hmm. Carmel Hubby, and I am the physician of True North Cooling and Heating. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Jimmy. Hi, my name is Carmel Hubby, and I am the business administrator and co owner of True North Heating and Cooling. Is that you? Is that nope. me? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Carmel. That's quite all right. People keep calling me even though they know I'm here. Communication is the wave of the future, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> people. Okay. Sorry. There we go. That's all right. Okay. Was that okay for you? Want to do it again? Let's do it one more time. Yes. Okay. Hi, my name is Carmel, and I am the business administrator and co-owner of True North Heating and Cooling. Okay. That was really good. Thank you. Great. Okay. So now, you've got your questions beforehand. Yes. Uh, so you can see the first one <clears throat> is just, I seriously don't know anything about your business. Okay. So just talk to me, okay? Okay. Okay. So what is exactly True North Heating and Cooling? Uh, we focus on residential customers. So we deal direct with the homeowner. And as a Lennox dealer in St. Albert, we install Lennox furnaces, air conditioners, garage heaters, and filtration systems. We're also an authorized dealer for Goodman products and Nest thermostats. Um, but if we're not installing a new system, we will also repair all brands of HVAC equipment. So we'll offer maintenance, repair, and service for any brand of furnace or air conditioner or garage heater. And we will also install hot water tanks and whole home humidification systems. That's fantastic. Whole service right there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, are you just in St. Albert? Or are, are you in Edmonton? We are located in St. Albert, and all of the um, personnel on our team are St. Albert residents. We will go to Edmonton, um, mainly for the existing customers, but we prefer to allow our St. Albert residents that work for us to support the St. Albert. Um, no, let's scrap that. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I'm sorry. Review your, review your answer. Okay. Um, you actually asked me a question that wasn't on here. It yeah. is. Okay, so let me just ask you that. Because normally we've been, you know, some of them have seen them, but they're like, eh, whatever. Okay. Know. It's just my business, I know. So we've had a conversation. Okay. <clears throat> but I had had two that came, you know, with the with the answers. Mm -hmm. So that's up to you. Do you want me to just ask you the question and you can tell me what you've written down? Sure. Okay. Yeah. That works better? That might be better. Perfect. So I will stick to the uh, to the question directly. Perfect. Okay. 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 Ready? Yes. Okay. What did you choose St. Albert as your place of business? St. Albert is a beautiful city and we've called St. Albert our home for almost 10 years. We absolutely love it here, and this, the residents and the owners are wonderful. St. Albert is a lot like our business, actually. It's small enough to feel personalized, but just big enough to offer amazing resources. Fantastic. Okay. How do you separate yourselves from your competitors and or what makes your business unique? <clears throat> We believe that you should actually try to be on good terms with your competitors. Uh, competition promotes uh, diversity and community and growth. You never actually know when you might need one of your competitors. Uh, for example, sometimes people call us for services that we don't offer. And we have recommended to some of our competitors to them in the past if it is what served them better. Our focus is getting to know you what you expect, and maintaining our high level of service. Katie, okay. I wish you had a mirror behind you so I could see what I actually look like because I don't feel like I'm being sincere. I think I have a tiny mirror. Would that help? No, that's okay. But you want to... Oh, I know. Oh, my God. There you there go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be weird if I had a wardrobe change for the second half? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to be on question number four. Uh, yeah, the success story. Okay. It has been, for some, difficult to answer. Mm -hmm. Some mothers are like, oh, I have like ten. Yeah. 
I got two. <laughs> Great. Okay. okay. Relax. Um, Relax. Yes. Shake it off. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I might pause in between um, success stories. stories. Yeah. Okay? Well, All right. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Could you please speak about a recent success story related to your business? I definitely think that success is in the eye of the beholder. Um, what you define as success. There's, there's two that come to mind. Uh, the first one is a family that called us and they were extremely frustrated. They were ready to rip out their eight-year-old furnace. They had had many people coming into their home trying to fix it. They had spent a lot of time and money only to be disappointed and they were just ready to rip it out. And they basically called us and said, get this thing out of here and give us a new furnace. That would have equated to a lot of money. And that wasn't a feel good transaction for us unless we really understood why this eight year old furnace was getting replaced like this. So we managed to convince them to give us one more crack at it. And lo and behold, they never replaced their furnace and they never paid us the cost of a new furnace. Um, the, the cost of the repair was minor, but the feeling of success that we had from that was really big to us and really uh, rewarding. Our favorite success story is a family here in St. Albert and we installed a whole home comfort system for them. So a Lennox furnace, an air conditioner, and a purification system. We went back a few days later um, to visit the family and mom and dad had lots of positive feedback. They were really happy to see us. So we were welcomed with open arms. It's an amazing feeling. But then what got even better was when their 12 year old son came over to us and said, are you from True North? Did you put in our new furnace? And we said, yes. And he gave us a hug and he said, um, I love my new furnace and I'm already feeling better. This was a little boy who had suffered from allergies and asthma and with in only a couple of days he was already feeling the benefits like how he was breathing, how he was sleeping and then how that was preparing him to go to school the next day. But for him as a 12 year old boy to come to us and feel comfortable enough to give us a hug and, and give us that feedback was, I mean, when you can do something that makes people happy and it's what you love to do, that's to us success on top of success. That's a thing. Thank you. Okay. These are all real stories, by the way. <laughs> like I wish my, my, my building had you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So okay. this is the last one, hey? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to read this really Go quickly ahead. here. Prepare. Relax. 